Hi, I'm Joe Merrick. I'm a traffic engineer here at Clackamas County, and I want to take you on a little trip today to show you how additional funds for Clackamas County will help us improve the safety of the roads. Let's go on a little road trip. So here when we're driving down this road, what you'll see is we've got some pretty abrupt drop-offs here. And one of the things that the VRF funding would be able to do, or additional funding, is help us to be able to build additional guardrails. Also, we're coming up here on an area where we have a pretty abrupt pavement edge drop off. The edges that, that I've been talking about, they come from people who they might drag a trailer off the edge of the road and it carves out like this spot here. And so if you drop a wheel off of that and you react to that by cranking your wheel, the edge of the road can kind of catch your wheel and then it slingshots you across the road to the other side of the road and then you can go off the road and crash. On my left here is an example of very deep ditches, which are also not ideal for a roadway, because again, the risk of rolling your car when you go off the road. And, and when you look at our crash data, when you look at each year in the county, we see somewhere around 30 to 35 fatalities. About half of those are on county roads. You know, we could potentially prevent a fatality by doing really simple improvements like adding a little bit of shoulder to the road or in some cases widening the road and putting an edge line rumble strip in so if somebody did leave the roadway, they're going to get some audible feedback and some tactile feedback to the steering wheel that they're off the road so they can correct and stay on the road. With the funding we have currently, we're just simply unable to do that because there's just too many road miles. And, you know, one of, the, one of the things our traffic maintenance crew does that, that is uh, really appreciated by me, and I know the citizens that use the roads appreciate, and that is the cleaning of our signs. If people can't see these, especially at night, these roads can be um, very hard to, to drive. We can also use that money for things like installing always stops, um, which is where you take an intersection and all legs have stop signs. So we have a number of those that we would like to change over. We can use those for uh, enhanced traffic signing. So it could be curve warning signs. Um, it could be signs to warn us of an intersection that's coming up and doing that in a systemic way. So we do that at all the intersections. We just don't wait till there's a crash and somebody requests it. We can do pedestrian enhancements like so that pedestrians can get across the road easier. So that could be installation of crosswalks or types of things that flash. It would really help us be much more proactive. So the funding that, that the county's been working with for many years, it has not covered even basic maintenance. And so when we've looked at those gas tax funds that we receive and the vehicle registration funds that we, that we currently have received, we've been using those for maintenance purposes and there's still been a very large shortfall. And so if we don't keep up, we can't modernize our roads, which means we really can't keep them up to the current levels of uh, safety standards that we need to. 